Once you log into the signs portal, this will be the screen you see. From the screen, you can place a sign order, place a sign removal, and you can also, down at the bottom, view your current orders. So to start with, we're going to place a sign order. And there's four steps to this process. Step one is to put the location in. In this case, we're going to need a sign at this address. And then the installation date. So this date auto-populates 48 hours from today's date. Um, we strive to get all signs installed and or removed within 48 hours, but due to weather and other unforeseen factors, sometimes it's not a possibility, but we definitely try to get it either put up or taken down within 48 hours. This is also the date that if you cannot put this property to market prior to a certain date, you would put that date here and then just below check not before this way our installation team knows that we cannot put a sign on that property prior to the date listed special instructions uh, see map for exact location so any special instructions you put down here uh, our, our installation team will see and they will uh, use those instructions to place a sign and then just below the special instructions, you have a area where you can upload a map or a photo of the property. So if you have a photo of the, the property, you can mark that photo, put an X where you want the sign exactly, and you can upload that here. Then our installation team will also see a photo of where it is you're looking to have the sign placed on the property. We will choose next. Step two, here are your signs that you can uh, choose from. In this case, this is going to need a sign and a rider, so we're going to change the quantities on both to one. We have eight of the for sale signs in stock, but we have zero signs in stock for the rider. So anything we have in stock, there is no charge. Anything that is not in stock and we have to print, there will be an additional charge, and that charge will be located underneath each item. So in this case, to print another rider is going to be an additional $20. So we will add both of these to order and select next. And residential sign placement, this location only needs one sign. And then the last step, uh, we're going to proof and review. We have one 24 by 30 uh, for sale sign going up. We also have a rider going below that. We have some special instructions to see the map for the exact location. We have our map uploaded. And then on the right hand side here gives you the installation location, the cost of the sign, and you can see here the sample residential for sale. There is no price because we had eight of those in stock, but the rider, there is an additional $20 because our team has to print one. Uh, the standard $37 installation. And then with the tax and everything and our grand total, and once you review all of this information, you have to check. I have viewed the proofs and acknowledged that by submitting this order that the sign will be printed as displayed in this proof. And then just below that, you also have to check. I have verified with the property owner that there are no shallow underground utilities such as sprinkler lines or electronic pet barriers in the ground where the sign will be placed. Once you have both of those checked, you can place your order. So the order number for this sign placement is 2893. Now we're going to go back home by clicking the WAB logo. And if we go to view my orders, it's going to bring up a map. And it's going to show us all the signs that are currently installed, as well as all the signs that are in process. So in this case, these three pins are green. Those signs have been completed. And then this pin is yellow. And this is 2893, this is the one that we just placed. So hopefully within the next two days, we'll have a for sale sign at that location. We can go back home. And now we're looking to place a sign removal. So we will choose remove sign. And if it's a current installation location, we can select the drop down and from the signs installed, Currently, we can choose which one we want to remove. In this case, we're going to remove 2873. 
the date that it needs to be removed. Again, this is going to auto-populate two days out. Uh, we're going to try to get it removed within that two-day mark. Um, but again, due to weather and other unforeseen factors, there is a possibility it may take a little bit longer, but we always try to get it done within two days. And then if there's any special instructions, you can type them down there, as well as upload a photo or a map uh, if you choose to. We will select Next. And this is just a residential sign removal, so we will check that. And then go to Last to Review. And again, you will see this is just a, a final review. We're removing this sign from that location. Um, and then the price breakdown, if there's any pricing on there, it would show up here. Your special instructions would be typed down here. And once you're happy with what you see, you can place your order. And then this would be removal 1448. And now we're going to just select the home tab again, or the, the WAB logo. And I want to go over the view my orders a little bit more. So we'll select view my orders. And again, it's going to show you the signs that are installed. Now, the one down here is now yellow because we just placed a removal for that. This is an install. So this is order 2893. And that is our removal, 1448. But say you had hundreds of sign installs and removals going on in the map, you can select toggle filter. And from here, you can type the address in. So if you want to see the status of a sign install, actually that is not a good one because it's not installed, but see, we're going to go 5622. So we can type in 5622, which is just the beginning. You can type the whole address in here and it will show you on the map what the, the status of that is. If we do the 2063, which is this address, so we'll start just 2063. It'll show you the status of the, the install. Again, it's yellow. So if we go look up at the key, it is an in-process order. You can also stroll through the, the different order numbers. And now, Jim Residential only has uh, three orders. So it's very simple. But it, you can imagine if you had hundreds of signs, this would go on and on and on. Uh, so you could do it that way. Otherwise, you can also just go by address. Um, you can also see your removals. So any removals you have in place will show up on the map. Or any orders for these, these would be installs, also show up in the map. Um, so you got the two that are already done, they're green, and then we have the one at 2063, which is yellow that is still in process.